When Bungie originally announced that the Cosmodrome, along with its three strikes from Destiny 1, the Will of Crota, Devil's Lair, and Fallen Saber would be returning to Destiny 2 throughout Year 4, I was pretty happy. These were cool pieces of Destiny history that a lot of the player base missed out on, and it would be a nice trip down memory lane for us veteran players. But my excitement didn't really go beyond that. Sure, I was glad that I could experience them again, but these were hardly the best strikes from the Destiny 1 days, and even then, the most notable thing about them would be the strike-specific loot you could earn, weapons such as Grasp of Malak or Mago Loot, for example. And sure enough, when Beyond Light launched and we had access to the reprised Will of Crota Strike in form of The Disgraced, it was exactly as I expected. It was Omni Goal all over again, with a few visual and contextual changes to keep things fresh. And that was about it. Destiny 1 Strikes aren't really that different from Destiny 2 Strikes. Some people may consider them more memorable, but I feel that has more to do with the loot associated with the activity and nostalgia rather than any other objective aspect, but I digress. However, on February 9th, we got access to Season of the Chosen alongside the return of the Devil's Lair Strike as the Nightfall that week. And my god, was it fantastic. For quick reference, I ran the Nightfall 23 times that week, trying to farm out a god roll shadow price, and it didn't get exhausting at all. This is, without a shadow of a doubt, the best strike in Destiny 2 right now. A seven year old strike. But it's not because it's from Destiny 1, hell, this iteration is better than any of them from the original Destiny. It's not great because Destiny 1 had some inherently superior design philosophy, or at least not entirely. So why? Why is this strike so much fun to play? Why is it so much better than a lot of the other ones in the game? It's because Devil's Lair highlights what Destiny 2 does best. The combat. Ever since June 2019, Bungie has touted Destiny 2 as the definitive action MMO that takes place in a single evolving world that you can play anytime, anywhere with your friends. And to an extent, it is. Not a single other game on the market, let alone in the MMO space, has gameplay like Destiny does. And that's not to say that the other games are bad, either. Far from it, but they share completely different styles, and no one else in the industry is pushing the same boundaries that Bungie is. You know, for all the bitching and moaning you might hear from the Destiny community on Twitter or Reddit, some of which is valid, not a single person is complaining about the combat. Not a single person is complaining about the gunplay. And that's because Bungie is the best in the entire industry when it comes to that aspect. That's on display here. Devil's Lair provides an incredibly lean playground for Destiny players to unleash their full arsenal. You know, we are much more powerful than we ever were in Destiny 1. We have many more tools at our disposal with far more depth than ever before. We contain the power of gods in our pocket, but have very few, if any, places to put that power on display, so none of it ends up mattering. Let me elaborate further. In terms of its physical footprint, Devil's Lair is one of the smallest strikes in the game, but it also contains more enemies than any other strike. The encounters contain non-stop frenetic combat that keeps you on your feet, especially at higher difficulties. You never feel like you're fighting for kills with your fire team, and by the time one encounter is over, you're already on to the next one. So bring out your War Mind Cell builds, bring out your Charge with Light builds, because you have a place to use them here. There are so many enemies, and if you're not careful, they'll overwhelm you. There are champions you need to worry about. You know, it's, there's so much going on. The final encounter before the boss contains two brigs, a spider tank, three champions, and a plethora of enemies all around you that are trying to kill you, and it's great! This is fun! I, it, it, we can actually do something with our power. At this point, up until now, it's felt like nothing. You know, you, you, you work so hard to get these god world builds, to get all these different armor mods, you know, to become this god slayer, you know, and for what? Where are you going to use it? The only places in PvE that really test player skill is Grandmasters and Raids. And raids aren't really difficult in terms of the combat, they're difficult in terms of communication and teamwork. And if you have a team that you play with regularly, then it's not difficult at all. Grandmasters are hard because there's a dozen modifiers active and nearly everything in the activity one-shots you. It's, it's artificial. I'm glad Grandmasters are there, but they need to be reworked. This is different. 
this feels a bit more dynamic. It feels like I can play the game for fun. I don't feel like... I don't, I don't feel fatigued when I was running this strip. I didn't feel fatigued. You know? Like, this week is the arms dealer. And I was farming palindromes earlier. And it's a short strike. It's not hard. It's just... It, it's not fun either. I mean, it's not a bad strike. There are worse ones in the game. There have been worse ones in both destinies. But it's just not the same after the high of Devil's Lair. Not to mention, the music in the final encounter kicks ass. That that theme. The Sepix Redux, Redo, however you pronounce the word. I like Redux better. I think it sounds cooler. That is perfection. That makes me feel like a badass. That gets me energetic. That keeps me going. Even if I don't get the drop I want at the end. And we need more of this. This is what Destiny needs to be moving forward. Destiny is the definitive action MMO when it wants to be. It can be. It can be the definitive action MMO at any point in its life if it tries hard enough. We need more encounters with this level of enemy density. And I'm sure you have heard that, you know, phrase, buzzword, whatever you want to call it, all over the place since the new season launched, which it's been in a good light. Everyone's loving the enemy density of Devil's Lair and the Battlegrounds. And the Battlegrounds are great. It's It has the exact same things going for it that Devil's Lair does. And I hope this is a sign of what's to come. We need to keep this momentum. Because if we do, oh man, the future's looking bright. But that's just one Guardian's opinion on a much broader topic. I would love to know what you all are thinking of the new season and the new content. Do you like Destiny 1 content being brought back into Destiny 2? Do you not? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do, you know what? Do what you want. You do what you want. Helps me out, though. Encourages me to make more of these. I'm going to make more regardless, but, you know. It's nice for my ego. And with that being said, my name is Yami, and I will see you beautiful people next time.